Hello friends, welcome to Sheba's Cookery World. Today's recipe is a simple mutton curry which I usually prepare at home. It goes extremely well with rice, chapati and even appam. If you like this recipe, please give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting recipes. To make this mutton curry, you would need the following ingredients. I have also listed the same in the description box below this video. Let's begin by adding some oil to a pressure cooker. Once the oil becomes hot, add the mustard seeds and let it splutter. Then you can add in the whole spices. I have used green cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, mace, star anise and bay leaf. Next add the ginger garlic paste to this and fry it until the raw smell is gone. Add in the chopped shallots and saute for a couple of minutes. Add some fresh curry leaves as well. Add in the sliced onions now. I have used three big onions over here. You could also add more of shallots and use maybe just one or two onions. This would give more flavor to the curry. Add in some salt so that the onions get cooked quickly. Add some sliced green chilies as well. I have used 3 to 4 of them. Saute this on a medium flame until the onions turn slightly brown. Once the onion turns slightly brown, add in the turmeric powder and saute it really well until the raw smell is gone. Add the red chilli powder and saute it well again. Next goes in the coriander powder. You will have to saute all of these ingredients really well until the raw smell is gone. Add the fennel powder. Also add the black pepper powder and saute it. If you want you can add some garam masala at this stage but since I have used whole spices I have just skipped it. Add in the cleaned and chopped mutton pieces now. Mix it really well so that it gets coated with the masala. Add the sliced tomatoes now. I have used two big tomatoes over here. Add some chopped coriander leaves and mix it again. Now pour in a cup of water and mix it really well. You can add more water if required. Cover the cooker with its lid and pressure cook the mutton for about 5 to 6 whizzes on a medium flame or until the mutton gets completely cooked. Finally, you could add some chopped coriander leaves. The mutton curry is now ready. As I mentioned before, this curry goes extremely well with rice, chapati and even appam. So friends, please do try this recipe and let me know how it turns out. Please hit the like button if you did enjoy watching my video and post your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.
You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Google Plus and Blogger. Click below to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting recipes. Check out some of the other videos from my channel below.